little bit smile, people. Show business. Is it, is it on? <laughs> it's Tharp World, everybody. I'm Allison Tharp. Welcome to Tharp World. It's filmed yeah. live at the compound in front of a studio audience. And they're so excited. Look how excited they are. Um, Yay. <laughs> so live at the compound gallery in Oakland. We do this every week, Wednesday, at 6 o'clock. So tune in. You don't want to miss anything. It gets weirder and weirder as the weeks go by. As I have more ideas and less and less planning, the projects get more strange. And you know what? They're for sale. They're all for sale. Everything I make here at the compound on Tharp World is available for purchase. Just come on down. They will show you where the pieces are kept. And for low, low prices, you can own these fine pieces of work, hang them in your home, hang them in your office, or anywhere. Don't probably show people that might be offended because more conservative friends or family, but maybe if you have weird friends, they'll appreciate it. Anyway, so get your instant coffee. I have mine. Make sure it's really nasty and really strong. For some reason, it's like the magic potion to create like the best artwork. I'm just going to take a sip out of my, one of my favorite cups here. I just made this coffee. It's really strong. And it's really gross, but it's perfect. That's just what we need. So, okay, let's just get right to it. All right, I, I'm not even going to mess with a bad drawing book today. Usually it's a warm-up practice I do where we draw badly for about 15 minutes or so um, to warm up. But this project is probably one of the worst I've ever done in, in a good way that I don't even need to warm up. It's, it's going to be pretty, pretty out there. I haven't pre-planned much, but I do have an idea. And it's an idea that I've had for a couple of years now. I guess, you know, sometimes, dear viewers, I think about things that probably won't happen that I really that I really want to happen. Like going, first of all, if I could go to the, to the mall and shop with a certain celebrity, I would have I would could die and go to heaven. And that certain celebrity is somebody that I've been fascinated with for for quite a while. I've included him in some of my other projects. One of them on Tharp World when I did my very first episode cross dress for less, where I dressed him in drag. His name is Gaul. He's a black metal vocalist, formerly in the band Gorgoroth. He's scary. A lot of people don't like him, but I know him to be a very sweet person who loves fashion. And so for today, we are going to entertain the idea, the fantasy, the dream of going to the mall with Gaul. Mall and Gaul rhyme. And M is for metal and and me and um, like loveliness and joy and all of those beautiful things that, that are included in the mall. So before the show started, yesterday actually, I came to the compound gallery and I started this piece. So let me show you. This is how it, this is how it started. I started on the press. I took some pieces. Um, I printed out some pictures of myself and, and Gaul, just a couple of little things that I thought would be perfect, like, you know, pictures of him that were more flattering. And what I'm going to do is tell the story of this perfect day that I'm imagining, of when we go to the mall together. So let's start. I'm, I'm going to do this with black ink because that's what he would really love. I know it. So I've got my little tray. Let's just get right into this and get a little more coffee. Gaul is Norwegian. I talked about this on another episode, but in, in the small town where he lives, in 2010, he won an award for being the best gay in town, and he proudly accepted the award. He is so fabulous. I just love him. He's got so many personalities. He has his own fashion line as well. I wish I knew more about it, but I haven't been able to investigate it just yet. But for today... We're just going to go to the mall, and I don't know what mall. It's like a mall in a fantasy land. It doesn't even exist, but it's okay. We can dream. We can all just dream. And I encourage all of my viewers to make the worst possible art and entertain all of their bizarre fantasies about shopping with celebrities. So I'm going to use, like, red and black, some of the best colors for this. Put them in here. Two different colors of red. This one looks really similar to that one, but. So 
So Thark World is filmed in a working gallery. So all of the people working all around us, making other projects, not so interested in what's going on right now, are very supportive. And so sweet. So let's see, purple. All right, let's get right to it. So I've got water here. I'm going to come over to this side. And we'll start. So the first thing I've done is make made this thought bubble. I'm using acrylic black ink because it's the strongest, most pigmented, and it's waterproof in case I want to print again over it. And let's just do some eyeliner. So I've always wanted to go shoe shopping with Gall. I've always wanted to know his fashion sense outside of the makeup. I imagine he likes neutrals. But you just don't know until you go to the shopping with someone. Really, you just don't know them. I don't know if he's into cross-dressing, but he might like Mary Jane's bags. And you know how you know that we're in the mall? These little triangles, these little like little 80s triangles. I don't know about the mall where you grew up, but my mall in my hometown is still hasn't been redone since the 80s, and it still has this 80s mo motif all over everything. And I hope they never change it. Bags. Accessories. Oh God, and makeup, of course, right? So the first, here's me and Gaul. Let's give him some cutoff capris. This is so cute, look at his little feet. I'm going to give him some cute little man slippers. Black, of course. Because it's like a hot day. Maybe we're in Los Angeles. I don't know where we're shopping. It's wherever he wants, honestly. Like, if I could give him a call and be like, where do you want to shop? I'll, I'll, I'll meet you in Norway if you want, or we'll go to San Francisco, wherever. Because we can just teleport there, because it's, it's, it's just a dream world. And then for me, I think... these sailor pants. Oh, wide legged sailor pants. Little teeny shoes. Like, uh, li this looks like the little prince. Like those pants that the little prince would wear. Oh my gosh. With those cute little feet that stick out. Oh. That looks lovely. And here's his little bag. Let's like give him a, like a little man purse. Perfect. Let's just say we're somewhere in LA because the weather's better. And you know it's LA when there's a lot of concrete and palm trees. I guess it's like, in my mind, it's always the 80s in LA, forever. Okay, now I'm getting another brush. And bring over my other supplies. 
over here. So now, okay, so we're going to the mall. And this is all just, how does this happen? What's next? Let's go to the makeup counter. Actually, let's go, Gal is going to pick out an outfit for me first. And it's like a lot of black. And I like black. But this isn't right. We need even more, more ink. We need a lot, a lot of black ink. So I was watching some Borgroth videos earlier today. And there were some sheep's heads, and there's a lot of black, a lot of, uh, a lot of screaming, and there was like a lot of fake blood, or maybe it was real blood, and it was really, really scary. And, and Gaul was just like, he just looks so angry. But I know that when he's not playing his music, he's actually really delightful, and he loves to talk about fashion. But you know what he does hate though? He's, he hates, he hates people in sweatpants. That's why I know that we would get along, because whenever he sees people like being lazy in sweat clothing. It, it makes him sad. In fact, it quote unquote puts him in a bad mood. So, poor Gaul. He wouldn't really like Berkeley that much. I bet he would be like really offended. We're going to pick out outfits for each other. We're like going to go into the dressing room and we're going to decide like what each other should wear. And so she's picking this out for me. And then there's like spikes too on it. I think it basically looks like a one of those things that you lock people in that has no arms. It's just like a big, huge like device of torture and it has spikes all over it. But that's exactly what it is. And you can, I think, get them at JCPenney's or, well, we probably shop at Bloomingdale's, but there's a special, um, you have to ask for this room, but they do have a special room where you can get all of your black metal accessories, I'm sure. And spikes, of course you love spikes. On the feet. And fish nets too. And then for me. I think like the perfect outfit for him would also include fishnets, but all, but like a really, really pretty like little dress because he's like probably got really nice legs, but you would never be able to tell because they're always covered up with all of that hair and like corpse paint and makeup. Let's give him like a red mini skirt. I love this ink because it's so bright. It's like the perfect, it's the perfect blood red. And I know he would love this. And like the bad drawing book, anything goes. It's so important to do these projects where they're just so silly and so weird and they, you don't, you're under like no pressure to make anything like good, that you can just be silly and have a good time. And I think that's so much what this show is about. is just like totally going crazy and not trying to worry about making anything like too serious.
This is so cute. It looks like he's kind of like... Let's make him barefoot. Oh, he's posing for a picture in the tulips. It's adorable. See, and then his legs. He has really nice legs. She didn't always try to cover them with corpse paint. It's so funny because in these black metal videos, he's always like in a forest and it's snowing and it like looks really desolate and very lonely. But I know that there's a side of him that's that loves springtime. Oh, and he loves like daffodils and grass. It is April. It's so it's I think getting close to May. And it's just it's a beautiful time for the mall and a beautiful time for spring. This is so pretty. Maybe this is out near the parking lot of the mall. Like on one of the the medians, like on the way to the mall. And I'm like, get out of the car. Gal, just get out of the car and like show me show off your skirt. Just get out, get over there on that gr on grassy patch and show off your skirt. That's perfect. That looks so. That's really nice. I love that. Oh, that's good. He loves his skirt. So we're we're like. Holding hands. Oh. It's really strange to have like yourself. Uh, this is the first time I've done this on Barb World where I like take pictures of myself and put them on here. It kind of, it's good because it makes the, it makes the dream like even more realistic. Because you can actually then see it's actually happening right now, like in some other dimension. Like this is occurring now. We've created like our own reality. And so in this reality, like, I want to have, like, a mermaid body. And I want Gaul to have, like, a seahorse body. See, this is when it starts to get kind of psychedelic. And I knew that it would, eventually. Anything goes. And maybe this is one of those th times where you go to the mall and you're like, I want a picture with my best friend, so we want to be in these little outfits. We want to be in these little outfits. We want a backdrop. We, Gaul gets his way because he is my celebrity guest and I love him. So whatever backdrop he wants is the backdrop he gets. So he's chosen a scene of an apocalypse, like a nuclear, um, he, he basically wants to see like some kind of a Chernobyl disaster in the background of us like holding it. I don't know. I give him what he wants. I give him whatever he wants. So there's like some nuclear reactors in the back of us, like spewing fire and smoke and like destroying the earth but he has such a funny sense of humor you know that's what he loves he loves destruction so maybe it's the end of the world actually I think it might be the end of the world look at how happy he is <laughs> I'm like okay hey, gal that's what you want so this is our this is going to be like the picture that we take I'm like okay And the, oh wow, okay, so there's like blood red smoke in the background. He's so funny, at, at his concerts he just loves to have sheep's heads on sticks, just everywhere, just like littering the stage, it's adorable, they're all these sheep heads. I think they're real, it's kind of gross, it probably smells if you're like up close. And then he just sings, he just loves to entertain. He's always been like a natural entertainer. That's why he's been like I've always loved him ever since he was little. And I think he lives out in the in the uh, 
forest in, in a, an isolated little cabin. But the funniest thing is, his boyfriend, Robin, actually works at the mall, and we are going to go visit him, like, after we do some more shopping. Because I don't know about you, but when, I get, when I'm shopping, I get really, really hungry because I get really into it. And I try on so many things, and I walk all over the mall. And I do like, then I do a double round and walk through again, just in case I like, missed anything. So we're going to end up at the food court later and visit Robin. Because I think he's working today. Robin is so cute. Robin has been Gaul's boyfriend for a while. They think they've been dating a little while. Like, Gaul is a bit older than him. But it totally works. The funny thing is, too, that Robin isn't into black metal at all. He's more like... He's, he's like goes to clubs and stuff. He's not... And he's, like, so cheerful. He's, they're the funniest couple. So there's this, like background. I don't know why they have this background at Macy's where you can get your picture taken, but they do have the apocalyptic Chernobyl disaster background. You can choose that one if you want your family photo to be the backdrop of the end of the world. To each his or her own. And then you can put on costumes. It's so cute. So let's... Okay, so now that we've been like in, uni in like unicorn costumes, let's fly. Let's be pterodactyls. He looks like a like a bat creature. Gaul would be down with this one. He would love it. Like we look like evil bat creatures. This is cool. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I would love this. And then we'll, like, we're both wearing high heels. So when we go to the mall, we can transform into anything because anything goes. Absolutely anything goes on Thar World. No piece of art is like too ridiculous or too badly drawn. No bit of perspective is like too badly drawn. And no high heel shoe is too badly drawn. If we can't draw badly, we'll never draw well. So draw badly as often as possible. And then joy, of course, coming out of the top of our head. This is my heart on fire for Gaul. And this is Gaul's heart on fire for me. because we're best friends. Purple, little purple marks to show intensity. Oh, uh, isn't it cute how he's just like sitting there in the median? Let's draw, like there's like a, a, like a, a parking lot over here. Oh, you know what? Let's draw, actually draw them all in the background. Whoa! Someone's motorcycle. 
We've got Macy's. We've got Nordstrom's. And we've got Dreams coming true all over the place. I like this. What else can we do? I feel like it needs one more thing before we... Because I'm, I'm kind of getting hungry, but I, I think we maybe just need to look at a couple of shoes before we go eat. Don't you think so? Like, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> I want Gall to wear like platform booties like little pink platform booties like this with spikes like just stud like all over them that would be so cute which is all his black outfit that would be adorable So I'm just going to say that he bought them upon my suggestion. And then we'll put spikes, like, all over. See, like, they're still metal. You know, even though they're pink, it's okay. And, like, these will be his, like, this is what his legs will look like wearing them. Like, Harry, like, we're having this discussion. And there'll be, like, some corpse paint, like, here. See how they, they totally work with his outfit. And so he's like, happy. <laughs> Beautiful. Like, see, I told you all. I, I, know, I know what's best for you. And I'll get some lipstick to match. So we're both like flying pterodactyls. Like, we're like evil flying pterodactyl people. Let's put some like. some texture on our wings. It kind of matches his hair, which is perfect. Oh, you know what we need too, to indicate the word pterodactyls is like these long tails. I love how, like, we can just transform into every anything at the mall, too. That we can just transform anytime we want. This mall is perfect. I love it. Okay. So let's go. Like, I'm hungry. We j Gal just bought some pink shoes. And I feel like it's time to go get a snack. So let's move this out of the way. We're going to go and we're going to go visit Gall's boyfriend at the food court. So I will be right back. I have to go and get my plexiglass sheet. Oops, there's coffee on it. characters on so we're going to the food court and it's really fun there I'm going to go talk to his boyfriend who I think is really really nice I like him a lot I'm a little bit jealous of him because of how much time they spend together but that's my own issue and so we may or may not see other celebrities at this mall we can do anything and I believe that there might be a celebrity eating at the food court but we'll see we never know who we're going to meet Okay, so I have just like arranged a couple of little pieces. I'm not going to tell you what they are because I want you to be surprised. I'm going to put some wheat paste on these guys. Because this will help them stick. You probably have seen me do this before. I do this a lot on Tharp World because it's really quick. It's a really great project to do when you only have a little bit of time because it's really fast and it's really funny because you, you don't exactly know how it's going to turn out, which is the best thing. 
And earlier today, I printed a backdrop for this, which I'll, I will re actually, I've never done that before, where I reprint on top of some pieces I've already done. So this will be a first time, and I'm not sure if it'll work, which is also fun. The element of surprise is one of the best parts of doing live art making. So I'm going to put this over here on this press. And now I'm going to get this paper. So I already took it earlier. So I'm going to spray it, but I'm not going to show you guys what it is because it's a surprise. So I'll just talk while I'm doing it. And you know what? On Tharp World, you can write in. If you go on your computer, which you're already on since you're watching Tharp World, it is on the computer, you can chat live and we will see what you wrote and I will talk to you and you can make suggestions or comments and it's fun because then we can draw together and then we kind of collaborate. So if you have any interest in um, talking to me or being part of the show, you can do it anonymously. I won't know who you are. I don't know anyway because it doesn't come up of who is talking but it's really fun. It's interactive. Or you can just sit there and watch and be a voyeur, and that's fun, too. So now. I'm going to place the paper on top of the plexiglass. It's already been wetted down. And just wet the back of it just a little bit. And... I've adjusted the press already for everyone's convenience because I realize that this is not the most interesting part of the show. But the next, this part right after is probably the, the most exciting. them a bit more because the details are really what make um, what make the the, uh, the, really, the the pieces really pop and look you know really textural and everything. So what you see is really kind of just a you know just the bare bones of, the, of what's going to be a finished piece. So if you come back into the compound gallery, um, you know a few weeks after the show has been filmed, you can see the finished pieces, and that's fun. Oh my gosh. Where does Bob's boyfriend work? Oh, how about on a stick? Okay, cool. Nice. That's Robin. Hey guys. Hi. It's like, do you guys want some hot dogs and some lemonade? I'm like, oh my god, totally. Yes. Hey George Clooney, what's up? Wow, I'm so thirsty. I want some I want some pink lemonade and Gall wants some regular lemonade but probably sugar free. So we'll t let's take this on over. Oh my gosh, Robin is so cute. Look at how cute he is in his outfit. This is what they get to wear. Isn't that fun? And you know what they do at Hot Dog on a Stick? They make lemonade, they make corn dogs, they make fried cheese. They make all ki pretzels, all kinds of like really, really delicious and really healthy food, which is so fun. And so here's Robin. So here we are, like me and Gal. We're like, oh my gosh. Hey. Hey, Robin. It's like, hey. He's a man of few words. Hey. It's like, oh, he oh hi. Look how cute he is. So he's like got his he's got his uh hot dog. He's like, look at all these hot dogs that he's got. It's like I just made these corn dogs and they're so fresh. 
They're so fresh and so good. And I just wanted to show you guys also the before and after from the Clinique counter. We wanted to show Robin, so we took some pictures on our phones. Before and after. Look how cute. Like, they do this makeup, you have to ask for it, but they totally will do course tape for you at Clinique. But you have to ask, and you have to ask really nicely. And they'll also give you lipstick. so pretty. Love it. So Robin's really cute and he's like, he's 19 so working at hot dog on a stick is, is like totally age appropriate. But Gall is always often telling him like you're going to have to get a real job later. Like this is not, this is not a career. I know it's, the outfit is super cute but you can't just stomp on lemons all day. You have to think about your future. He's like, I love stomping lemons. Did you know at hot dog on a stick there's a big tank. I mean, some of you who grew up in the suburbs probably know this because you maybe spent a lot of time in the mall like I did. There's a big tank full of lemons. And all the employees get to stomp on them and to create the lemonade. They're like Oompa Loompas. So underneath the counter, and this part I'm completely making up. This is no longer true. Right now I'm lying to you. Underneath the counter is a big glass tank where the person who works there who does the register and also takes your money and gets your hot dogs, is continuously stomping on these lemons, producing the lemonade in these adorable little shorts. Adorable little, tiny little bike shorts. They're so small. I mean, it's like obscene. That's why you can't see them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's why you can't see them from under the counter. So they look like, kind of like little bike shorts, but really, really short. And they just <laughs> stomp the lemons all day long. And the lemonade comes out of this tube. Look at how cute. Okay. But first, before we continue, we have to like make sure that you understand what these shorts look like. They're red, blue, white, and yellow to match hot dog on a stick motif. And you haven't been to a hot dog on a stick, please go and get some fried cheese. Please get some lemonade. It comes in all these different colors. And please enjoy the, the stomping. This would have been the most awesome job. But I don't think they would have hired me to hot dog on a stick. I would have loved to work there. I, it's not too late, actually. So all the, all the lemonade gets drained out, out of the spigot, and ends up in these cups. And, you know, the magic of it is that it turns colors halfway down the, the... It's like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. It, like, turns colors. So even though the lemons were yellow, the lemonade is pink. Uh, I don't know why. It's just magic. It's really weird. So it comes out, and that's where the lemonade is made. Isn't that amazing? But the shorts are so small, and it's really important that they hire the cutest little people to work there. I've never seen like a big, hairy, like scary looking dude working there. So <laughs> he's like really young, cute people working there because I think it would be kind of weird to buy lemonade from someone <laughs> that scares you. Or looks like, I don't know, like maybe they could have crushed the lemons like too much and it wasn't perfect. But just the way it is, all this, all the lemonade is just everywhere. And look at him go. Look at him go. Let's see, this is how it's made. Gall, like, is so proud of Robin. Mm. Lemonade. So all of this stuff. Oh, it's, oh my God! It's George Clooney. Don't don't stare. Don't stare. Don't stare. Don't don't embarrass me, God. Oh. Hey, they know each other. George Clooney's like sitting by himself. But you know what I like to do? 
take pictures with my camera phone and post them. Haha. -ha. He doesn't he doesn't know that I'm underneath the table, but I am. Taking a picture. He has to sometimes be sneaky. Look at that. You have to be sneaky. It looks evil. And then we're at a table too. One of those long tables. Just admiring the food court, watching people pass by. There's so many different things you can order at Hot Dog on a Stick, too. So don't limit yourself to just hot dogs and lemonade. There's also french fries and pretzels and some other stuff that's probably pretty weird. So now, I'm going to like, we're going to show Robin, the dress that I bought for Gaul, and see if he likes it. He seems like he will, because he's a pretty good sport. I like his little scarves that he wears. So it does work. We can layer, we can do multiple layers on top of, like multiple layers of paper printed on top of each other, and it, and it works pretty well. So this was printed earlier, and then I printed this on top, and it's, it, it works great. So I may just print again, like on top, and see how many I can actually, how many layers you can actually do. And that's something new for me I haven't done yet. So as I'm doing this show, and you guys are kind of watching me, experiment with printmaking too because I'm actually pretty new at printmaking. I just really got into it about a year and a half ago when I started working at the compound and have been introduced to the etching press and all these techniques are recent. So it's really fun to to be learning on on live internet television with mistakes and with successes which is what art's all about and just you guys really just see the process as it's happening without it being too planned. I have no idea like what these pieces are going to look like. And it is kind of nerve-wracking. I do get a little nervous before the show, thinking, oh my god, I hope this works out. Like I don't know what is going to happen, what this is going to be. But it somehow always turns into something. It never doesn't. I just, I always make a piece and it, it always turns into something. And it's often not what I expected, but sometimes it's better than I expected. I can't wait to go back into these pieces and and kind of refine them and add the details. But it's so fun with printmaking because the composition becomes its own idea. Like, I, I have no idea how these things are going to lay out, but this is a pretty exciting arrangement of color. And the subject matter is definitely something I've never done before. I don't know if it's ever been done. Maybe it's been done, but it doesn't matter. It's not been done by me. You know what would be great too? Is adding his adding his shadow. He's a man of many faces, Paul. He's a good friend. And he does scare me just a bit. <coughs> But at the end of the day, he's a real sweetheart. So I think I have to, if the only truth to be had is to put, uh, put you have to add some darkness to his, his whole outfit. So if it's bright, you have to add the shadow to it.
Oh, and this is, this is wonderful. The before and after is here. There's nothing more satisfying than a makeover. And to the future owner of this piece, we will make it clear what did occur in these two panels. And you know, that could be you, dear viewer. And now we construct the hot dog on a stick. This piece came off a little bit, but it's easy to fix with a little bit of glue later on. This pr looks pretty much exactly like what, what the restaurants look like, or like the little, they're like not restaurants, they're like little kiosks. And I, I've always been attracted to the colors. Like, you cannot go wrong with these colors. When I was looking online at some of the pictures for reference, I saw that there were a few people dressed up in hot dog outfits too, and that was, I knew I was sold because there was nothing better than a person parad parading around in a hot dog clothing. That's pretty much about as cool as it gets, which I just now have to draw since I'm talking about it. Now I have to draw it. Let's draw them I'm like let's draw like a couple of them. Their little faces. Cause at the mall where any like absolutely anything goes. Let's oh I know what we can do. We can put um we can make them like if this is a hot dog on a stick the stick has to be like here. Which is really awkward. Because it's like right there. So if it's a hot dog on a stick, where are you gonna I mean, it's either gotta be in the front or in the back. <coughs> so I guess it's gonna be in the front and they don't have they have like little shoes. This is an awkward costume. I hope they're getting paid well to be out in this costume. It looks like they don't, maybe they're doing it as volunteers. This person like, seems to be happy enough just as a volunteer hot dog person, hot dog on a stick. I love it too, like on Thorpe World or like on the bad drawing book when you run out of room, you just make that hand really small or make the foot really tiny. <laughs> It's fine. It doesn't. It's it's all it's all good. So if there's no room, just make it really small like that. And if there's no room here, it's just like really tiny like that. But people are gonna get it. You know, they're gonna know what it is. They're gonna know it's a foot. Whenever you draw teeth like that, it means the person's really intense. These guys. These are these people are probably the weirdest in the entire art piece because, like their story, we have no idea like why they would want to wear these costumes in the mall for no money at all. They're like in their own cult.
And then we, of course, need the mustard. I like these mustard halos. They are like cult members. Oh my god, they are. They're in a cult. Okay, you guys, don't talk to these people. Like, don't even look at them. They're, ske they're sketchy. Like, they're giving out pamphlets. There's literature. Just walk past. There's pamphlets. Sometimes it's scary in the mall. Like, you don't know who you're going to run into. Okay, so there are pamphlets. There's a test you can take. It's a personality test. Don't take it. Certainly don't send it in. They will harass you constantly. Gall made that mistake. And they're still calling him, and it's been like five years. Don't. Don't call them. Like they, 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 their cult seems appealing, but stay away. It looks like Robin might be, you know, in a like kind of a sketchy position. Like he could possibly join this cult if he's not careful. He's about to join it. So hopefully, because he's young and impressionable, he won't fall victim. Mm. This t this turned into be like way. This is like way more intense than I expected it to be. I really just thought they were going to go and get some lemonade and hot dogs with a hot dog on a stick and then there's like cult, there's like cult members like trying to recruit George Clooney. They're, try they're totally trying to recruit him, unless he's already in the cult. He wants to, like look at him taking the personality guy. Oh my god, he's totally taking it. He's asking questions. He's asking all the right questions. They totally want you to ask those questions. And look at—he's got a pencil out. It's one of those little golf pencils. He's totally taking the test. The personality test is like multiple questions, but you the always, always, always—you score like you definitely need to be in that in the cult. The answer is always the cult. Like, why even take the test? It's so scary. So me and Gall are gonna leave because we're like, I'm getting bummed because like. The hot, do the hot dog on a stick people are like bumming me out and like, come on, Gaul, like, let's go. He's like, just one more thing. Just one more thing. Like, let's just go and get our ears pierced just once more at the at Claire's. Let's just get little sapphires. Okay. 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 I can get my ear pierced with a little sapphire. Well, that's what you want. Because I only want to do what you want, Gaul, because you're my guest. So we both, we both picked blue because that's like the color that we want, so. They're going to pierce you with that gun. It's really fast, it hurts, it's loud, and then the alcohol in the ear, but if you don't get your ears pierced at the mall, then what are you going to do at the mall? You know, that's... Aww. Besties. Look at it. I actually really do like my sapphire earrings. Those are pretty cute. Those are pretty cute. Okay, Gal, that was a good idea. Wow, Okay. So let's review really quick what happened today. Let's review what happened today. So observe. The, the beginning of the day started out with a dream of bags, shoes, makeup, and accessories. And then I called Gall and he was like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, let's go to the mall. I really want to really get some shoes with you because I miss you. We don't see each other enough. He's like, oh God, okay, I got busy. I'm busy, but all right. So he made time. So then we dressed each other up. Like he got me this outfit. It was like an Iron Maiden, like the things that you torture people with, and like some little shoes. I don't really like it, but I, I entertain him. And then he posed for some of my pictures because I like to consider myself an amateur photographer, like fashion photographer. And like it was perfect. Like the median in the parking lot was like the perfect set set up for like his like red mini script that I got him. And then we took pictures at Nordstrom's, backdrop of the end of the world, flew to the food court, and then everything like took a turn for the worst. Cult members tried to recruit George Clooney, probably succeeded, but Robin was like, gave us free hot dogs, and we got to watch him like crush little lemons. That was so cute. And we got our ears pierced at Claire's. I think it was a really good day. And I love how we can just make dreams come true. In like an hour, all of this stuff became reality. And on some level, it actually happened. Like somewhere out in the universe, like this actually did occur, which is terrifying that that can happen. But it can, for better or worse.
And that's, that's what art making is all about. It's like the line between real and unreal. If you can make it really blurry, then that can be like a lot of fun, which it is for me. <laughs> so anyway, this is what happened. A fantasy was realized. I will go back into these pieces and put more details into them. So in future episodes, possibly I will show you what I've done. But if I don't do that, because I might not, you can come into the Compound Gallery in Oakland and see all of the work that's been created and see what everybody else here is working on too because this place is so much fun. And even though you see me on the show only, it's a whole team of people making Dark World. And we have lighting and we have sound and we have microphones and we have a live studio audience. So for all the people that helped out, thank you so much. And I hope you guys all join me next week for another exciting episode. Mwah.